if I don't build up a decentralized social media platform, maybe somebody else is going to build up. So why not me building up and maybe I will migrate my users from the centralized Facebook to decentralized Facebook. So hey everyone, good morning. And uh, today I want to talk about something really important and a very serious topic, which is Mark Zuckerberg has, I think it seems like Mark Zuckerberg is finally ready to use blockchain technology. And I'm not really sure what is he building up. Is he building up a decentralized social media platform just like Steam it or, or something else? But it lo looks like they are very close to developing some new product on the blockchain technology. So yesterday there was this news out that Facebook's David Marcus has resigned Coinbase board in blockchain push. And basically he is going to be focusing the blockchain startup at the Facebook, right? And it could be very well be the possibility that Facebook is trying to build a decentralized social media platform. And the reason I say that, while of course it's not out as to what exactly they are building up, but the recent incident that happened with Facebook and because of Cambridge, Cambridge Analytica, and also Mark Zuckerberg himself has posted something at the start of this year that he is exploring the blockchain technology. This post really went viral on his Mark Zuckerberg page where he mentioned that every year I take on a personal challenge to learn something new that he this year he took up the challenge to learn about Bitcoin and blockchain technology. It could be very well possible that Facebook is trying to build a decentralized social media platform. Now, and it's quite important for them because a lot of people are going to move onto the decentralized media platform. And in my experience, what I've seen is a lot of people who are actually building something or the other new onto the blockchain technologies. They are something building something which they have already have experience in. For example, there are people who are who are building decentralized advertising platform under the blockchain technology. But those are the people who have already have traditional advertising product in in past. Right. And seeing with the e-commerce, there are some people who are building a decentralized e-commerce with the blockchain technology, but they've already built something uh, on the Internet, which is which have they have an experience on e-commerce already. So it is quite possible that maybe Facebook is trying to build Mark Zuckerberg is trying to build a decentralized social media platform. Maybe he has discovered the power of steam it and he knows that people are slowly going to move on to decentralized media platform. So maybe. Facebook is trying to build a decentralized social media platform. Now, we might argue that this could also impact the business model of the Facebook, right? Because this is like putting an axe on your old own feet, you know, because it, you're hammering your own business by building up a decentralized social media platform. But, you know, nevertheless, you don't have any other option because pin, people are going to move to a decentralized media platform anyway. So maybe for kind of these people like Mark Zuckerberg and everyone else, it's not about the money anymore. That's what I believe because they have earned enough of money. And for when you reach a, reach a certain position, it's more about the name, right? And I'm sure Mark Zuckerberg will be more than happy to know that, you know, uh, he was leading personality at the social media platform and it was centralized. And he would love to be remain that, retain that position, even if it comes to decentralized social media platform. So he might go ahead and migrate all the users who are using Facebook right now to the decentralized Facebook. That is quite possible. So here it says the while Facebook is yet to announce how it intends to harness the blockchain, some analytics analysts believe the company will follow in the footsteps of other players and issue its own cryptocurrency or token. If that happens on board seat of Coinbase could be a views at conflict of interest. This would be a conflict of conflict of interest because if somebody is already a part of Coinbase, they might people say because there was somebody at the board of Coinbase, Facebook got listed on the Coinbase. It is quite possible. So avoid that. Mr. Marcus actually left and resigned this company. Another important point that you will hear see is it says in social media and messaging, a growing range of sites hope to eat into Facebook's dominance by offering users tradable coins in return for posting information. This is something like Steamit and YouTube and other interactions. Steam, which pays users by creating content, said it's already distributed 40 million to users since 2016. And this could be very alarming for someone like Facebook. I mean, Mark Zuckerberg has already seen that this is already coming. If I don't build up a decentralized social media platform, maybe somebody else is going to build up. So why not? 
me building up and maybe I will migrate my users from the centralized Facebook to decentralized Facebook. So that is what I see the possibility coming. But let me hear it from you. What do you think? Do you think Facebook is trying to build a decentralized social media platform? The next one I want to share is uh, something which is again very interesting, which is coming out on the Malta stock exchanges. It turns out that whether ex whether a country is regulating or not regulating cryptocurrency in blockchain space, the trading volume doesn't seem to go away, right? The only difference is the countries which are actually regulated cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology, you have more trading happening with the traditional exchanges. But wherever there is no regulation, for example, China and India and other countries, the trading is still happening. The only difference the trading is happening in peer to peer and OTC, right? And you can clearly see that in the picture. The second one with those lead in terms of over the counter and peer to peer trading volume. So it doesn't matter whether the country is regulating or not regulating, the trading volume doesn't seem to stop at all. In fact, so here's the top five countries that they have mentioned USA 65 million with the regulation, Malta 1200 million. So the only difference is if a country is regulated, have the rules in place, the cryptocurrency exchange will have more volume. And otherwise, it's the OTC and the peer-to-peer -peer have more volume. So clearly, it's a message for the regulators and actually governments around the globe is that the trading volume is not going to stop. It's up to the choice of the regulators now whether they want to see that with the cryptocurrency exchanges like a proper cryptocurrency exchanges or they want to see that with a peer-to-peer -peer and OTC but certainly these things cannot be stopped and this is the best example is from India itself as you saw the cryptocurrency RBI banned actually exchanges but still people are still trading into cryptocurrency the volume is much higher peer-to-peer -peer exchanges are very more successful in fact all these exchanges have gone ahead and added to USD and USDT tether and so the volume is pretty much very high in India also despite all the ban which is happening. So one clear message I think to the regulators are that, you know, uh, these things is going to continue whether regulated or unregulated. And it's really up to the regulators to see that in what way do, get, do they get more benefits. Do they get more benefits by regulating it? Or do they get more benefits by keeping it unregulated? So leave your opinion definitely on the Facebook. What do you think? Is Facebook really trying to build a decentralized social media platform? Do you think they are looking to retain their position as number one social media platform in future also by building up a decentralized Facebook? Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like or a dislike. I'll see you next time. Take care.